Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1. Now, of lately, I've been getting a lot of requests for this particular ROM that is Shape Shift OS. Now, it caught my attention because of this fixed IR face unlock hotfix update. There might be a lot of other changes, but you know, all in all, this is an Android 11 ROM dated the 7th of April 2021 and I have downloaded it. They have fixed the safety net, which means you will not have any issues with the banking applications. G apps is included. So we're going to install it and we will have a look at the initial impressions. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. Join us there and help us get a thousand members. Last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going all right so first things first this is a classic install and preview on phone ops or smartphone tutorials whatever you want to call it we are going to install the ROM and things that we need to do, you need to have a Pocophone F1 with an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a TWRP recovery installed. In my case, I choose to use Orange Fox recovery on most of my devices. At the same time, you need to have the ROM file and you need to have the firmware file. We are using the firmware file of 12.0.3, which is the latest one. And I have backed up all the information Things that I would recommend is make sure you don't have any screen lock, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, sign out of all your Google accounts and just check if you are encrypted or decrypted. If you are encrypted, you might want to flash DFE after flashing all the files. In my case, I am decrypted so i'm not going to be wiping internal storage now you can choose to follow this method if you're coming from another android 11 rom or you can choose to you know wipe data and format data and then copy the files to the phone or a otg pen drive and then flash it enough talking let's get going so as i said you know this is the rom this is what it looks like it promises a lot of customization and stuff so let's quickly have a look at it first thing that we will do is we will boot into twrp now of course to do that you have to press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the poco logo okay now there you have it you can see the poco logo over there and there is your orange fox recovery all right so first things first go to wipe dalvik cache system vendor data not wiping internal storage here because that's where our files are okay now flash the firmware add to queue shapeshift swipe to install now remember this is a rom which comes with g apps included so that makes your life much more easy you can choose to flash the vanilla version but uh, i don't really have you know a lot of uh, problems if you flash vanilla or anything else but uh, yeah i'm flashing the one which is with g apps let's wait for the files to completely flash and then we will have a look at the boot animation of this wonderful rom all right so everything has been flashed wipe cache and this is something I always do after ROM is flashed. You can actually go ahead and do format data to avoid any blue boot loop and stuff like that. So go to manage partitions, go to data, tick mark, format data, type in yes. Okay, reboot system. Now this will boot into Shapeshift OS for the first time. So the first boot will take anywhere between two to four minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And let's also have a look what type of a boot logo they have to offer. Oh, it's a very, very basic, clean Google boot animation, which is really, really neat. Now we'll wait for the ROM to boot up. We will skip the setup menu and then we'll have a look at the OS. This will be the initial impression. Now remember, I have flashed this on this phone, which means I will be installing PUBG on this. I will be probably doing a live stream or I will make a gaming review out of it so that I can tell you guys if this ROM is good enough for gaming or not, because the majority of the subscriber base that we have they actually prefer gaming if you can game on that rom then they can adjust a thing here and you know a thing there so let's skip through the setup menu all right so just like that we are on the home screen the wallpaper looks beautiful and to the left we have google discover and at the top the notification tiles also look great so let's first go to settings over here and let's do the most important thing what is that switching to dark theme there you have it 
Now let's go to about phone and this is where things are great. So they have some sort of, you know, different look Android version 11. The Shapeshift code name is Grooville. Security patch is the latest, 5th of April. We are using Perf Kernel and that is the build number. Build date is the 7th of April and we are shooting this on the 7th of April. So they did say that they have IR face unlock, a small, small stutter there. But overall, this ROM is very, very smooth, very, very fluid and that makes things exciting. Now, when you look at the app drawer, you will see that you have like 5, 10, 15, 17 applications and not a lot of bloatware which is a good thing so the next thing that we will check is we will dial 198 and see if we have call recording because this is a G apps build so let's see if we get call recording or not all right I don't see a call recording option over there right we do have voice over LTE and I'm pretty sure voice over Wi-Fi would be working as well so that is a good thing and as i said we have very very few applications now we do have a very basic camera app which should be fine because you can always install google camera and sometimes anx camera as well the front cam works so the basic camera duties can be taken care of let's have a look what launcher we have over here we have a you know sort of a AS, aosp sort of launcher which is a good thing but the best part is the rom is smooth the rom is very very you know fluid you do have a customization menu called the shape shifter in which you have things like power button customization navigation gestures volume rocker and quick settings themer heads up pulse visualizer battery options clock options network indicator status bar items then you have native controls lock screen tuner general options general notifications miscellaneous led settings and gaming mode so you do get a gaming mode and a lot of other customizations and uh, this rom is going to be very very interesting to use because they have a few tweaks in terms of visual appeal here and there which you know i think at least it's pretty pretty good and so far the rom is running very very smooth it is checking all the boxes i don't really see a reason why you should not be giving a chance to this particular rom especially if a team is working that hard so for now what i'll be doing is i'll probably install pubg mobile on this and wait for the next video live stream in which i'll be testing the performance of this rom and if i continue to use it for a couple of days i will be doing a full review although the pocophone f1 is not my primary device anymore this is my primary device but yes i will be keeping the rom for a couple of days to check the charging to check the battery life and make a full-fledged review let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.